there was a guy who phoned his local pizza place and he said, Can I have a pizza with liver and onions? Uh, the man at the pizza place replied, We don't do liver. Then the man with his hand over the phone whispered to his wife, I thought you said they do the liver. The wife replied, No, I said they do deliver. The man says, Not according to this guy. <laughs> A very good morning, everybody. It's Ryan here, and I hope you're well. Welcome to our 57th mnemonic in internal medicine. And of course, I bring warm greetings in the precious name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Previously, in times past, we've spoken about hepatosplenomegaly. Today, we're focusing just on that big liver, hepatomegaly, and a differential. But first, a quick uh, scripture just to encourage you this morning. We're speaking about the topic of taming the tongue. So the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The Apostle James, in, his, uh, in the book of James, chapter 3, verses 3 to 6, he also speaks about the tongue. He speaks about taming the tongue. He says, when we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Or the captain must go. Likewise, the tongue is a very small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. I pray we will be able to control our words, because words have power. Amen. Okay, so the mnemonic today for a large liver in the context of hepatomegaly is 3C and 3I. Now, the three C's here look very familiar, no? Because these three represent the most common causes of ascites as well. So cirrhosis, as we know, speaks to a essentially fibrosis of the liver, right? I mean, in the context of alcoholic cirrhosis, remember it's a spectrum. Because first up, you may have uh, steatohepatitis, so just fatty infiltration of the liver. And it's often this phase of the cirrhosis that the liver is large. Because thereafter, the liver becomes small, right? You may also have alcoholic uh, hepatitis alone without fatty infiltration and then you may have uh, eventually cirrhosis right then carcinoma as well usually secondary is coming from the bowel so it's prudent to do your tumor markers especially your orthophytic protein and do a, a lower scope looking for a primary in the bowel which has metastasized to the liver however other cancers can also metastasize to the liver like uh, breast and lung cancer and thyroid etc Congestive heart failure as well, very important. But then you have clinical stigmata of heart failure in that you have, uh, um, you know, bi-basal crepitations, raised jugular venous pressure. You may have a displaced apex beat. You may have a third or a fourth heart sound, right? You'll have a bipedal pitting edema, etc. So that's your clue for that. Then in terms of the infections, the common culprits, of course, being hepatitis B and C, which often are accompanied with jaundice clinically, but not always. And immune issues like primary biliary cholangitis, previously termed primary biliary cirrhosis. Then we have primary sclerosing cholangitis and autoimmune hepatitis. All three of these entities can also cause a large liver. Infiltration of the liver, especially in the way of amyloidosis, and even myeloproliferative disorders when you're thinking about um, chronic myeloid leukemia and uh, myelofibrosis. All of that can also cause a large liver. So guys, an easy, handy way when you feel that big liver uh, uh, when you're examining the abdomen. Think about 3C3I. Cirrhosis, carcinoma, congestive heart failure, infections, immune and infiltrative. The Lord bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day.